Hello, happy people, and welcome to your Moment of Zed, the YouTube channel dedicated to the most beautiful car in the world, the BMW Z3. Or as the folks in Calgary call it, the Z3. I'm Mark, and today we are going to look at Z3 prices. We've done this once before, two years ago, when the market was really, really high thanks to the post-pandemic and all the problems with computer chips and new cars, not enough new cars, used car prices being pushed up because you couldn't get a new car, etc., etc. Well, the market has changed significantly. Uh, new cars for a lot of manufacturers, unfortunately, are kind of piling up. The used car market, as a result, has gotten much softer. Folks like CarMax, who I believe are the biggest used car uh, dealers in the United States have uh, really had some issues selling cars. So I wanted to see if that has had an effect on our cars because we're kind of a niche market, kind of special. Now, two years ago, again, at the height of the post-pandemic pricing, I did a pretty in-depth video about prices. So please take a look at that because all the conditions that change the uh, price of our cars, as far as the cars themselves, the color, the motor, whether it's a coupe, whether it's a roadster, whether it's an M, non-M, all those things are really the same, but the market itself has changed or has it for our cars. So we're gonna take a look and what kind of inspired me uh, was some of my viewers who send in Zeds of the Week said, hey, I just bought this car for so much money and some of the prices, I said, gosh, they're, they're really going, uh, they're really lower than it seems like they were. Uh, and I take a look and I kind of keep my eye on car prices in general, but especially BMW Z3s for obvious reasons. And it feels like prices are getting softer for our cars too. So let's take a look. We'll take a look at the same ones we did in my first video. And if you haven't seen that, link in the description. Uh, we're going to take a look at the 1.9s, the 2.8s, the 3.0s, the cars that my viewers typically buy. Again, M cars, M coupes with the S54 engines, things like that. Those prices are still fairly solid, it seems. Those in nice condition are going for $45,000, $50,000 still. But I feel like the market for the typical car like mine, as far as Z3s go, feels like it's changed. But before we get to all that, we have three Zeds of the Week. And first up, we have Dave from Charlestown, Rhode Island with his 1996 1.9 liter five-speed Roadster with only 52,000 miles. Now, he bought the car last year. He's only the third owner. He says it's all original, except he's replaced the tires, done some dent removal, the glove box fix, the seat bushings, the door handle gaskets, and he's put in a metal impellered water pump. Now, he likes to drive the car with his wife, and nice drives on the coast of Connecticut and Rhode Island. Very nice. Next up, Omar from New Jersey, a young man with a 2000 automatic roadster with, get this, 356,000 miles on the original motor and transmission in that pretty, pretty Impala Brown. He's done some mods, including a Pioneer radio, custom speakers, Bilstein shocks, and aftermarket wheels. Last but not least, keeping it in the Northeast, Matthew from Connecticut with his first car, a 1997 1.9 liter five-speed Roadster. Now, although this has always been a Northeast car, he says it has no rust. He's done the seat bushings, glove box fix, the driver's side seat belt guide, and more, including a custom exhaust. Very nice. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for sharing your beautiful cars. Now let's take a look at some bargain basement BMWs. I don't know. Let's see. Okay, let's look at some general trends. Uh, this chart is from cargurus.com. Now I've set it from August of 22 to right now, August of 24. And as you can see, overall BMW prices, Z3 prices are about three and a half percent down. Now there's some years that are different. Some years are higher. Some years are lower, especially mine. That may just have to do with what's sold and what information they have. But in general, prices are a smidge down. This next chart is from Bring a Trailer, which most of you are probably familiar with, an auction site online. And it's a scattered chart. And generally it shows that prices uh, peaked around in 22 and they are down a little bit now. I'd say there's more cars under 10K than there were two years ago. 
the last place I use to kind of take a look at prices, and I use it a lot, is carsandbids.com. Now, they don't give us a nice chart, but you can kind of look at what things have sold for recently and get a pretty good idea of what's going on in the market. The thing I like about the auction sites is it's enthusiasts bidding against enthusiasts, so it tends to kind of show what the market is for people who are interested in our cars. First up from Bring a Trailer, this 1998 2.8 liter 5 speed Roadster sold last month. Now it's a little bit high on miles, 137,000, but it has a clean Carfax. It's an Arizona car and it sold for 7150. I think that that's a nice price, especially in that pretty red color. Next, also from Bring a Trailer, a 2000 2.5 liter Five-speed Roadster with only 88,000 miles. Now, this is a Utah car with a clean car fax. That was sold this month for only $7,500. And again, I think that's a fairly reasonable price. And continuing on, bring a trailer. This 2001 2.5-liter five-speed Roadster with only 74,000 miles sold last month for $8,800. Again, with a clean Carfax, a Nevada car. Again, a little bit more expensive, but lower miles, so I think it is worth it. Okay, last one from Bring a Trailer, and I've kind of been avoiding featuring automatics on my previous price video and on this one, but no particular reason. Some folks want automatics. Maybe they're no longer able to drive a stick, or maybe it just doesn't matter to them, but you can get some real bargains on the automatics, and I really like this one, so I wanted to show it. This is a 2000 2.8 liter automatic with only 51,000 miles sold this past March. It's an upstate New York car with a clean Clean Carfax. What I like most about it, of course, is the Impala Brown, which is one of my favorites. Now, this is an alumni from Bring a Trailer, which means it's sold there before. And from what I gather, it's sold for more the first time, if that's any indication of where prices are going. And speaking of Impala Brown bargains, our first one from Cars and Bids is a 2000 2.5 liter 5 speed Roadster and it has 136,000 miles. But a clean Carfax, it has brand new Continental tires, which is probably $1,000 worth of tires alone. It does have some minor interior issues apparently when it was sold, but it sold for $5,455. Oh, I'm sorry I missed out on that one. I have to admit, I had some trouble finding 1.9 liter bargains that were recently sold. Uh, matter of fact, one recently sold on cars and bids for a crazy $23,000, a real low mileage black car. That is not this car. This car sold on cars and bids uh, for a much more reasonable $9,400. It's a 1996 1 1.9 liter five speed with 74,000 miles. That's not super low miles, but it's very clean, has a clean Carfax. It's California car and it did sell back in November of 23 so that may have something to do with it uh, price a little high as far as I'm concerned but uh, again not that unreasonable our last car from cars and bids is this 2001 3 liter 5 speed Roadster with only 83,000 miles now this car does have one minor accident on its Carfax but that was uh, hitting a road sign has a few other minor problems that seem to be easy fixes, but it went for $6,300 here in Florida just a couple days ago, and to me, that is a really nice price. So there are a lot of other places to buy cars that are not the auction sites. Facebook Marketplace seems to be very popular. It's just hard to get statistics from places like that. One place I do like to look is called Auto Tempest. Now it aggregates a bunch of the other car sale sites into one place, places like cars.com, Auto Trader, etc. And right now on Auto Tempest, the cheapest BMW Z3 for sale is this 1998 2.8 liter automatic roadster with 185,000 miles that's for sale at a buy here, pay here lot. In Georgia, now uh, buy here, pay here doesn't have the greatest reputation, but for $2,900, someone just might want to take a chance. Now, looking to places that might be a little more reputable, we have this 
1997 1.9 liter five speed roadster that's currently for sale at Kendall Toyota in Eugene, Oregon. Now it's got a hundred thousand miles on it with a clean Carfax, and they only want five thousand dollars. Now, if it's in decent shape, that's a great deal from a dealer. Last one, another dealership car. This is at BMW of Wesley Chapel. Uh, Wesley Chapel is a suburb of Tampa, Florida, so pretty close to home for me. Now, this Roadster, it's over $10,000. It's 10.5, but this is a 1996 Roadster. They have it listed as an automatic, but it's actually a five speed, and it only has 32,000 miles on it, which is pretty amazing for that price. And it's got a clean Carfax, and the pictures tell me it's real nice. Somebody's going to get a nice car for that price, and maybe you can even talk them down. So, folks, there you have it. It does feel like there are some bargains to be had out there. It feels like prices are a little bit softer. What the immediate future holds should be kind of interesting. Uh, this is an election year. The economy is kind of iffy. People are predicting recession. If that happens, of course, prices will inevitably drop on just about everything. Who knows? It's going to be an interesting fall, to say the least, coming up here. But overall, I would say my advice would be now doesn't seem to be a bad time to get into a Z3. Seems like it's better than it was two years ago. So... I hope you join us in the club. If you found this content valuable, as always, please crush that like button. And until next time, remember, friends don't let friends drive boring.